morning, everybody. I woke up this morning. I am so excited about this recipe that I'm going to make for you today. But first, I have to make some homemade pesto. So I thought I'm going to go ahead and just put the, turn the camera on and you guys can watch me make this super easy. So last night I was at my parents' house and my mom told me to go please pick a bunch of basil because she had a ton of basil in her sunroom. So I picked a bunch of it and went ahead and cleaned it up. So I have two cups of fresh basil. I'm going to throw into my food processor. Okay. Along with that, I need six cloves of garlic. So I know most people just go ahead and they, they buy fresh garlic. I use it so much I get the squeeze kind. I know the purists are going to be unhappy with me, but that's just how I roll. So a uh, half a teaspoon equals one clove, so I need three teaspoons. There's one, there's two, and I'd say there's three. It's probably a little bit more, but that's okay. Who doesn't love garlic? With that, I also need two-thirds of a cup of Parmesan cheese. I tried to find Parmigiano Reggiano. I could not find it at my grocery store, so I think I got the closest thing. So I need two-thirds of a cup. I'm going to go ahead and measure that in here. Now, I know this isn't liquid. I should be using one or the other, but that's okay. We'll just put a little bit extra in there because, again, who doesn't love Parmesan cheese? Two-thirds of a cup of Parmesan cheese. I also need two-thirds of a cup of olive oil. Go ahead and put that in. Okay. If you're wondering how I am able to read this without kind of like going down like this, this is a great measuring cup. It's from Pyrex. I could probably find it on Amazon and link it. Um, it has the lines inside, so it makes it so easy that I can just look down on it when I'm pouring it. So there's two thirds of a cup of olive oil okay. and salt and pepper. I'm just gonna put a little bit of salt. Again, Parmesan cheese is salty and a little bit of pepper. I don't know. That was a half a teaspoon of each, maybe. All right, I'm gonna put it on and let it go. Just a couple of seconds. And we have, whoops, gorgeous, delicious pesto. So, Stay tuned, I'm going to be making a pesto twist bread from scratch. It is absolutely gorgeous and it is delicious. So I'll be back in just a few minutes and we'll start on that.